Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello friends, in this uh, uh, problem we will learn if a chemical reaction is of first order, how we can calculate rate constant. The problem says that time required to decompose SO2 Cl2 to half of its initial amount is 60 minutes. One decomposition reaction is taking place and so the reactant is SO2 Cl2. It is decomposing into SO2 and Cl2. This is a first order reaction. Its initial amount is suppose x is given x gram and in 60 minutes it reduces to half of its amount it means x by 2 gram. Time taken is 60 minutes. Now question further says that if the decomposition is a first order reaction there is one coefficient it is a first order reaction. Question asked to calculate the rate constant of this reaction. Rate constant means we have to calculate k. k is unknown. Time is given here. Time is 60 minutes. Therefore we can calculate 60 minutes into seconds. 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Here we have 60 minutes multiplied by 60 seconds and per minute. Minute minute will cancel out. 60 multiplied by 60. Here we get 3600 seconds. Since this reaction is of first order, we apply the formula for the first order of reaction. The formula is K is equal to 2.3 in R3. Here we have T time log initial amount divided by final amount. Time is given that is 3600. Initial amount is given x gram and final amount is x by 2. We can plug in this data and we can calculate rate constant K. Here we have 2.303. Time is 3600 seconds seconds log initial amount is we had supposed x gram we don't need to put unit because units will cancel out x and final amount is x by 2 2 will go at the top x x will cancel out here we get log 2 2.3 not 3 divided by 3600 seconds multiplied by here we get log 2 and log 2 value is 0 0.3010 we can plug in this value 0 0.3010 and so when you multiply the top value and divided by 3600 you will get 1.9 multiplied by 10 to power minus 4 and since this unit is given per second it can be written as 2 powers minus 1 per second this is the rate constant Hope you might have uh, uh, understood that if a reaction is of first order, how we can calculate the rate constant by applying the first order's reaction formula. Thank you. For more updates on IIT JE and NEET exams 2017, please subscribe to our channel to get a lot of updates. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.